Hey guys, Gadget Girl Kylie here, and welcome back to my Let's Play walkthrough of Fantasy Life. So, on this episode, I'm once again going to be switching my life over. I haven't decided which one yet, I'll kind of figure that out on the fly. But at the end of the last episode, I did speak about this briefly. You guys want to see the tutorials and also some gathering and crafting classes. So I've decided that I'm going to go through all of the life licenses for those classes. So all of the non-combat lives. Simply because it would be easier for me to unlock the licenses now. Ready for when I can reset my skill points and reallocate later on. Plus it's handy for getting some basic uh, gathering items and crafting done. And earning higher profits when it comes to selling stuff stuff that I have crafted. So that's the plan basically. So before we get started, I have actually made a new armor. You can see here that I'm now expert on Taylor. And uh, this is the coastal armor. So I'm just going to briefly go through my stats because I haven't done this in a while. So as you can see, I've got actually really high defense. Magic attack is pretty decent and magic defense. Uh, now you can see on the bottom, just underneath my stats, that I've got fire, water, wind and earth elements and you can see that my wind is at 50 now that's because this armor boosts wind magic so it's actually uh, a piece of armor that complements using wind magic which is pretty cool you can actually get other pieces of armor for the uh, magician that also boost other elements as well which is awesome I'm guessing it's the same for you know paladin and stuff like that you can get armor sets that will increase magic and things and stuff because I know you can craft a fire sword I have seen that in the trailer so I assume that they can also get pieces of armor like that as well so as you can see these are my stats here on the other life stats screen and then these are my basic stats and I've got no points to allocate at the moment so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to my items and uh, my armor is coastal armor so as you can see here it's uh i'm not worrying too much about getting like gold level crafted items from my tailor job at the moment because i'm still upgrading armors and it doesn't really matter right now so i'm not worrying too much about that at this moment in time but as you can see here on the second screen defense plus nine magic defense plus eight and it's wind element plus so it's the same with the coastal armor, this one's rank silver, 16 defense, 12 magic defense. And then if I scroll over, we've got the bottoms as well, 14 defense, 10 magic defense, and that's silver rank. Then I've got the coastal gloves, which is bronze rank, defense 8, magic defense 7. And then last but not least, I've got the coastal boots, defense 10. Magic Defense 7, and again, this is Wind Element Plus. And I've also got a Savage Necklace equipped, which I did create, which is Silver Rank, and it's Strength Plus 2. To be honest, it's not really worthwhile me equipping this, but it was better than what I had uh, equipped previously, so I've just stuck it on for now, because uh, it does increase my defense higher than the previous item I had equipped. So as I said, I'm not worrying too much about getting the highest crafted quality items at the moment because I'm still looking at new armor sets and that. And to be honest, as a magician, um, it's pretty easy to strafe and not get attacked. So I'm not worrying too much at this moment in time. I also had this on previously, which you guys didn't get to see. Twin tail jacket. So I had that on before I put on the coastal armor. So... Let's go and switch lives now. Welcome to the guild office. Have you come to change your life? Change life. Okay, so I did minor on the last uh, two episodes. So I could go for woodcutter, angler or cook. I kind of feel like going for angler today. So I'm going to do that. Because look how cute that hat is. <laughs> Ta-da! Fish head. <laughs> Congratulations, Kylie. Welcome to the Angular Life. 
I'm sure you already know this, but your first port of call should be your new master. I've already marked their location on your map, just in case you're not sure where to find them. Now off you go, best of luck. Okay, so let's make our way over to my new fishy master. <laughs> Oh, this hat is just so cute, this fish hat. Fishing, do you know what it's really about? No, don't say a thing. How could you know? You're a mere stickleback lost in the vast sea. The way of fishing is twisted, wet and slippery. You'd better think twice about becoming an angler. Can you fish despite foul weather, keeping your eyes trained on a catch in wind, rain or glare? Do you want to be one of us, whose hopes are all pinned on the tiniest movements of the sinker? Even a veteran can be made to look like a fool by a sly little fish. Can you hold back your anger? Don't say anything. One look at you and I see you don't have what it takes. You're not even looking at me. No, no, don't leave. Don't rise to the bait. That's just what we sages always say. Forget about difficult fishing in bad weather. You can always do it when it's nice and sunny. I've got this neat fishing rod, see? Even a beginner can handle it. You'll be like a professional in no time. You came here to learn the way of fishing, did you not? Please don't go away. Oh, thank you. I was afraid I'd stifled your budding interest in angling. Now then, what was I saying? Right, I was explaining about fishing. But you know what? Rather than listen to me carping on about my theory of angling, nice one, you should just try it. Here, have some practice with this. Guppy rod. Well then, first I'd like you to catch a fish that's very common around here. It's crucial that you catch a Castel Crucian. <laughs> Again with the puns, man. I love this game. It's got so many puns. Young Isaac will show you how to handle a fishing rod. He's still new to fishing too, but you're even greener than him, so pay attention to what he says. If you can catch something good, sell it at the market in the western part of town. I'll speak with the merchants about you. Good luck, don't come back empty-handed. Empty and by the way, you can call me the Fisherman Sage. Isaac's standing over there. I'll be looking forward to seeing how you tackle your first task. Oh, he's got a green fish head on fish head fish hat even i wonder if you're a male character if you get like a blue fish hat because i am a girl i've got a pink one so if anyone's played uh the fishing life let me know if you're a male character and if you've got a different colored hat that would be interesting to know i really love this hat though it's just so gorgeous it's so cute i'm a pink koi anyway let's carry on <laughs> Blimey! That's a Castell only limited edition rod optimised for small fish, isn't it? Check out that colour rendering and the crown engraved on the grips, a sweet little touch too. Some anglers think particularly. Ah, practicality is everything, but it doesn't hurt to have a stylish rod, eh? Won't make much difference to the fish, but it does to me. I'm sorry, I got a bit carried away. Since you're carrying that rod, you must be looking to become an angler, right? I'm Isaac, the fisherman sage's number one pupil. What's your name? Kylie, is it? Nice to meet you. I call the fisherman sage Grandpa. He doesn't mind too much. Did you know he was the first editor of Monthly Catch? The only monthly angling magazine in Riveria. Anyway, what did Grandpa tell you to catch? A carp? A crucian? A castel crucian, uh huh? Ha! Typical grandpa, always starting off simple. I'm gonna run out ahead and secure us the prime fishing spot for Castel Crucians. That'll be marked on your map, so come and join me in a bit. 
Let's show them fishies what we've got, Kylie. <laughs> oh my god, that was an awful voice, but I love it. Let's carry on with that. <laughs> I end up getting a sore throat from doing these voices, but it's totally worth it. I don't claim to be a voice actor or an amazing voice actor, and I know that my voices are very inconsistent, but hopefully it's entertaining nonetheless for you guys. Awesome. Hey there! I've been waiting for ages! Oh, you're impatient, aren't you? This is a well-known fishing spot for Castel Crucians. Lots of anglers come here all the time. Get everything ready and cast your line. I'll explain how to fish. Many anglers say that fishing should be learned through practice, not theory. A bit of an outdated view though, don't you think? Practice and theory, that's what you need. <laughs> okay, let's get down to business. Observe the water surface. See? That silhouette of a fish down there. Cast your line onto that. To pull the fish out of the water, you'll need to reel it in at the right time. It takes some skill. To fish, ready your fishing rod, then examine the silhouettes of the fish you spot. Fish can be found in rivers or ponds. Fishing is rewarding but takes concentration. Cast your line and wait for a fish to bite. When the float starts to dip, quickly press A. If your timing is right and the fish is on the line at the time, you will cause damage. While the fish is caught on the line, hold down A to inflict damage. When the fish's HP reaches zero, you will have successfully caught it. If the fish silhouette disappears for good, talk to the cat over there, it'll help you out. Oh, and you may also run out of SP. If that happens, just drink some water. You can pick up right there. Or you could try my personal favourite, grassland honey. You won't be catching anything if you don't cast your line, so get started. Let me know when you reel in a Castel Crucian. I'll keep my fish fingers crossed. <laughs> All right, you'll need to equip that fishing rod first. Don't forget. Oh, God. <laughs> right, okay, so we best equip the fishing rod then. Should we give it a go, guys? Let's go. Yeah! Ha ha! Reeled in tasty Castel Crucian. It actually reminds me of Animal Crossing fishing. It's exactly the same. Except, you know, of course, the HP drops. Look at that big smile on your face. You caught a Castel Crucian, huh? That's a pretty big one for a first catch. Ever? The fish merchant will be pleased. Occasionally you can catch exceptionally large fish. Large fish have higher HP, making them more difficult to catch, but they also fetch a higher price, so that's nice. The Castel fish industry depends on us after all. So let's get over to the shopping district and sell the fish you caught. There's no time to waste. Freshness is everything. Isaac joined your party. Okay, time to go and sell this awesome fish that I just caught. What a nice relaxing life fishing is on this game. Well done, let me take it. How about 
this much Dutch for it. Is that it? <laughs> I feel cheated. You can sell fish at shops in exchange for dosh or use them as ingredients in cooking, which is the next life I'm going to be doing, by the way, since uh, the fisherman life complements that nicely. A pleasure doing business with you. I hope I'll be seeing you often. So you see, we catch fish and sell them at the market. That's how we make a living. It's not the easiest job out there, but it is important. I mean, we're supplying the people with fresh fish. Castel Crucians, Castel Carp, Plains Sweetfish, Elderwood Trout. Something different every day. No one wants to catch or eat the same fish all the time, right? They're also... There are also rare kinds of fish around, like the applefish. You don't get to see them often. Rare fish are worth much more than the others naturally, and the applefish is really yummy. I didn't mean to eavesdrop on you, but since you mentioned applefish, have you caught any yet? I wish. We're just beginners, you know. I guess that was wish fishful thinking. Haha, <laughs> fishful thinking, nice. It's just that I had this customer earlier who really wanted an apple fish, but I'm all out. It tears my it tears my heart out to turn a customer away, but what could I do? I didn't get any delivered. I see. Well, who was it anyway? Who wanted an apple fish? An elderly gentleman that I've never seen before. He said he's staying at the inn in Castell Square. I feel so sorry for him. He came to Castell from afar just to try our local applefish cuisine. Yeah, it'd be awful if his long trip was all for nothing. Say, Kylie, why don't you pay him a visit? Well, let's head over to his house then, Isaac. Well, who might you two be? Did you ask the fish merchant about applefish earlier today, by any chance? Ho ho ho, yes I did! And you came here from far away just to try some, right? As a Castell angler, I feel partially responsible for the lack of applefish on the market. Well, don't worry about it, young man. I realise applefish are quite the rarity. I last had it some two decades ago. Grilled applefish, perfectly seasoned. It was unforgettable. It's an extraordinary dish, so it sells out almost the instant it goes on sale. I was unlucky, that's all. I was longing after the unique taste of that fish, but maybe I'll get it next time I visit Castel. Don't give up all hope yet, mister. We may be able to help you. And um, by the way, where are you from? From a land to the west of Castel, called Port Purito. Oh man, I love Port Purito! The sun, the blue sea, the Anglers' Association! Hey Kylie, do you know about the Anglers' Association in Port Purito? Well, now you do! It's like a paradise for anglers! They have all sorts of info on fishing! They've got all these cool fishing rods and prints of fish caught by famous anglers decorating the walls! And, 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 word is there are true masters of fishing there who knows everything about fish. Man, I really want to go there someday. Oh, the fishing master is but a legend. But it's the fact that Port Purito is great for fishing. Then again, however abundant in seafood Port Purito may be, there are no applefish there. Oh, I wanted Castel-style grilled applefish with some lovely herby butter melted on top. But we can't always have what we want, I suppose. Oh, Kylie! We can't leave him like that, can we? We've got to do something. What do you say we try to catch an applefish? Young representatives of Castel anglers can't just stand by and ignore a person in need of fish. Let's go back to Grandpa and ask him if he's got some hints for catching applefish. Still, that old guy... He looks somewhat familiar. A 
Okay guys, well now seems like a good time to stop this episode here. I always like to break the tutorials up into two videos. So on the next episode we shall return to the Fisherman Sage and try and get some tips to catch the applefish. Yay! I'm enjoying the angler's life actually. Leave comments down below guys, remember this Let's Play walkthrough is very reliant on you guys engaging with the video in forms of likes, comments, favourites and shares. And all those things really do help me out as a YouTuber. So as always guys, thank you for watching and take it easy.